Hello, greeting from Tamcock. So I made it all the way down uh, to Tamcock this early morning on a private taxi. Uh, after spending two nights in Ningbing. First, I thought I was gonna stay there because it's a lot easier for me to catch the train or the bus to the south. However, unfortunately, you know, all those sightseeings and tourist attractions are based or located here in Tamcock, which is eight kilometers away from Ningbing. And I'm not very confident enough, you know, to ride on a, uh, on a motorbike here in Vietnam. So I decided to move down here and I think I'll spend for a few days and explore the places uh, in this area. So Ningbing is famous for beautiful landscapes and is the home to many old pagodas and temples. And it's also called, you know, On Land Halong Bay because of the landscapes and sceneries that look pretty much, you know, like Halong Bay. I mean, if you've been to Halong Bay, you probably can picture how similar these two places are. Uh, and the best way to discover Ningbing is probably by motorbike or bicycle because all those sightseeing are far apart from each other, like three, five, up to 10 kilometers away from each other. So yeah, riding a motorbike would be a lot more convenient. I think I'll rent a bicycle from the hostel where I'm staying. I haven't checked in yet. Uh, so I'm gonna rent the bicycle and then cruise to visit this uh, ancient pagoda called Big Dong Pagoda, which is located three kilometers away from uh, downtown Tamcock. I remember I did the tour back in 2019. It was like one day tour from Hanoi to Ningbing and it was again part of the tour group and it was rush rush. So I didn't get to see that many things as I expected. But now since I'm here uh, on my own, I think I'll take it as slow as possible. <laughs> Cycling with this hat on is so uncomfortable. As you can see here, the, the rope is tightening my throat, so it's like it's gonna kill me. Uh. Make a stop here for a bit. This bicycle is quite uncomfortable. Oh, look. How gorgeous. This is kind of thing that I'm looking for when traveling, you know, nature, quietness. I mean, I don't mind staying in a big city like Hanoi for a while, for a short time, I mean. But this is more like my kind of taste. That is hot. All right, well, let's continue on. Where can I park the bicycle? Is it over there? Okay. Okay, let's just visit Tom Cock first. Then. Okay, parking point. Okay. Right, okay, I'm gonna park it as <laughs> First, I'm gonna park my bicycle. Hi. Okay. Okay. Parking? <laughs> no, I'm just gonna go to. Can I park it? Okay. okay. <laughs> I don't have the G lock. How much is it for? for the pack? No? Is, is it free? Yeah, it's Oh, okay. How much? Yeah. We've got it on there. Oh, <laughs> it's like actually things that say don't pay. Oh, okay. So that's why I make you think you need to pay. Walking. Bagoda. Why? He asked for money. Yeah. Walking. Bagoda. Bagoda. Don't worry, I'll go there myself. <laughs> it's fine. So it's 5,000? Yeah. Bye bye, Yeah, I don't see the price here either. <laughs> Probably not. Okay. It's Buddha. No, it's okay. 
Is it 10,000, right? Okay. Thank you. No, it's all right. Thank you. That way, right? Okay. Yeah. It's getting hot. You know what? I can spend days here. Look at this lotus. Okay, well, let's take a walk around. You gotta love this. So peaceful and so, you know, you feel. Yeah, you're close to nature. Okay. Since 1992, I was one year younger than me. A tea house. Sorry. Let's go back there. Wow. That is spectacular. I love this. Big Dog Pagoda is located in Trang An, Kolo District. This pagoda was built in the style of three in hand scripts, uh, consisting of three unconnected buildings based on the mountain position you know, from low to high, forming three separate temples. The entrance to the pagoda is, is surrounded by lotus pond with stone bridge connected between the entrance gate and the mainland. The original of Big Dog was founded in 1428. Uh, then in 18th century, the two Buddhist monks who wanted to propagate Buddhism to many places and construct temples and pagodas. So together they restored the existing pagodas with the help of locals who donated some funds to cover all expenses. These three ancient buildings were named after the positions on the mountain of Big Dong, so they include the lower, middle, and the top pagodas. So to get to the top pagodas, you have to walk through Big Dong Cape, uh, and inside it's quite dark, so you hear lots of noise, you know, from the bats, and they also poop on your head. So please make sure you bring uh, your hat uh, along with you when getting to the cape.
Well, that was a great walk up there to the cave. <laughs> Let's go back to where our bike is and then continue on to Tamcock maybe.